kids today i'm going to teach you addition of fractions so you know here so this is the numerator of a fraction and this is the denominator of a fraction so let's learn how to add fraction right so let's take one example so i'll take this one i'll take So before adding these fractions together, I'll teach this one. So here, see this one? Here denominator is 11. And in the next fraction also, denominator is 11. It means in these two fractions, denominators are same. Yes, here denominators are same. So if denominators are same in the fraction, you can add numerators together right so but if you have some fractions which have unlike denominators can you add those fractions together no you have to do something to add those fractions right so before moving to that one let's add this one here denominator is 11 and here denominator is also 11 so then you can add numerators together do we need to change the denominator no no need right because same denominators are here now 13 plus 4 is 17 what is this fraction huh? what is this fraction this is an improper fraction why why this is an improper fraction because denominator is 11 and numerator is 17. It means numerator is greater than denominator. So that's why this is an improper fraction. So if you have improper fraction, you have to convert that improper fraction into a what? A mixed number. A mixed number. So let's convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. Right. So do we need to change the denominator? No, no need. So how to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number? You know that, isn't it? Yeah, you know. So how many 11s are in 17? How many? Only one. Yes, just one. So that's the whole number of this mixed number. Right. 11 times 1 is 11. Now you have to subtract 11 from your numerator. Numerator was 17. Yes. Now let's subtract 11 from 17. What is the remaining? It's 6. Right. This is our, this is our final answer. Right. So now let's take another example. Next one. Right. And next one I take this one. See this one? So here, are same denominators here kids? No, denominators are different. So what is the denominator of this fraction? It's 4 and here it's 5. So what to do? Now can we add numerators together? No, we can't. Why? Because denominators are not same. So what to do now? If your denominators are not same, you have to take a common denominator for these denominators. So now you have to think what is the least common multiple of 4 and 5. So now think what is the least common multiple of 4 and 5. You know how to find the least common multiple. Isn't it LCM? We did it. You know. So what is the least common multiple of 4 and 5? It's 20. So if you forgot to find it, I'll tell this way, right? So let's write some multiples of 4. There are some more ways. So let's take this one for this moment. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Isn't it? Yes. And what are the multiples of 5 children? 
We wrote some few multiples of 4 and 5. And see this one. This 20 is common for this 4 multi multiples of 4 and multiples of 5 also. Then what is the LCM of 4 and 5? Yes, it's 20. It's 20. Right. Then it is the common denominator. Right. So what is the common denominator of 4 and 5? It's 20 right it's 20 now we have to now can we add this 3 and 2 no right you can't why because you have to change these numerators also according to the your according to your common denominator right according to your common denominator so what is the denominator here it's 20 now you have to think how can i change this 4 as 20 how? Huh? You have to multiply by 5. Isn't it? Yes. By multiplying 4 by 5, we can take 20 as our denominator. So, you are multiplying your denominator by 5. So, if you are multiplying your denominator by some other number, definitely keep this in your mind. You have to multiply your numerator also by the same number. By the same number, right? So now we can multiply our numerator also by 5. So then this numerator becomes 15, right? So the next one. So how can we change 5 as 20? Because our least common multiple is 20. By multiplying 4. Very good. 4. Then multiply numerator also by 4. Then what is the new numerator? It's 8. Yes, it's 8, right? So now you can add these numerators together, isn't it kids? Yes, of course we can. Right? Why? Because now we have a common denominator. Isn't it? Yes. Now 15 plus 8 is 23. Yes, 23. 23 out of 20. Ah, in this case also you have an improper fraction. So what can you do? Ah, what can you do? Now you can convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. You know how to do that? Yes, of course, isn't it? Yes, you know that. So how to convert children? Okay, let's do that also. Right? Can we change our denominator children? No. Same denominator, isn't it? Here 20 and here also it's 20. So how many 20s are in 23? How many? Just one. So it's the whole number of this mixed number. Right now 20 into 1. It's 20. Now you can subtract 20 from 23. So what is the remaining? It's yes, very good. It's 3. Now this is the our this is the, our final answer. Got it, children? Huh? Yes, very good. <laughs>